Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see, I am all set up and ready to go for a project. <laughs> and I am using clear scraps. And I believe this is the five by seven embellishments, card embellishments. I have snowflakes here. I have a fun card of Bella Christmas collection and I have a fun idea. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I've already cut my five, my um, seven by 10 inch cardstock, folded it in half at the five inch mark. So I have a five by um, seven card. Okay, does that make sense? So I've cut a seven by 10 inch cardstock, cut it down, I mean, uh, scored it down the center at five inches, voila, five by seven card. And this is going to be a really fun frame. And I have a fun idea, if I didn't mention that, I'm super excited, so I probably, probably already did. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to trim out, cut out, these snowflakes keep the frame I believe I'm going to do some heat embossing on the frame and I might even pop some um, acetate on it and make it a window I'm thinking it would be a really fun idea for a Christmas happy mail you could pop a family picture in there or a picture of one of your children um, for grandma um, or for a friend um, you know I mean there's it, and it can be like a scrapbooking idea and it makes it a decor piece so you can keep it year-round you can even change out the pictures is my idea so um, okay I'm gonna have some crafty fun and I'll see you back here in a bit when I have completed my project and I'm going to tell you all about how I made it thanks so much and I hope you'll continue watching this video see you in a minute Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here, and if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you will consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and continuing to follow along for future content. I hope that today inspires you all, and I hope you've been having a great week. Okay, so today is a design team project for clear scraps. I have for you some different um, chipboard embellishments that you can find on their website. I will have the links to all of the products and the blog down below in my description box. So today I have for you the chipboard snowflakes, the a, a project with a the chipboard crosses and the chipboard keys okay so depend I think in the blog I start my projects off with this mixed media paintbrush if you have all been following along on Instagram and then Facebook and you are a Prima fan you will you would have seen their challenge not too long ago and so this this got me really going. I really, really loved a lot of the the awesome projects that I saw and I had to try to create one for myself. So I, um, if, um, when you buy the chipboard embellishments, um, they, they, hold on, let me grab one. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Um, anyway, they come uh, like this card. I'll show you the card. How about I start with the card? <laughs> so when you order the chipboard embellishment set, they come with this um, six by five, I think it is, I, or uh, frame for a card front. And then three embellishments connected like kind of like a die set if you buy dies 
And so you can cut them apart very easily with a pair of scissors. Um, and so what I did with this one is I cut them apart and I painted them with gold. You know, just an inexpensive acrylic paint. Uh, I did have Prima flowers in my stash and I used hot glue. I first painted the paintbrush and I used this here and a this this particular sunflower yellow and I did the gold and so I happen to have these gorgeous prima flowers in my stash and I found a sentiment and cut it apart and I did bring the paint down onto the bristles and then I did some gold I used seam binding and some yellow snow pom-pom trim and um, I just love how gorgeous and shabby and um, chic and um, I just love it. Love, love, love it. I haven't decided how I want to hang it. Wendell, <laughs> I've got Wendell grooming himself behind me here, if you can hear that. Oh my gosh. And so, anyway, so here is this card that I made. And you can send a gift card in it. And I used an Echo Park paper collection. I used an acetate piece to make a frame on the front. So you can send a picture in the Happy Mail. And I heat embossed with some fun hologram or holographic embossing powder from my stash and another prima flower and this Merry Christmas sentiment was in my stash and I did gold on the frame part and layered it up and then you can just send a picture and a gift card if you would like okay and then here I just felt like making a very large tag and I hit up my embellishments that I got from a crafty friend. I painted the key. And the blog, I show you how I did it. And I lost all of the video footage that I had while I was doing it. I, <laughs> I was trying a new camera. And, um, yeah. So, today is project shares. Okay. So, again... I just tore the paper, had some fun, and I love how it came out. Love, 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 and then just left it plain on the back. All right, so there are my project shares. I hope that you are inspired, and um, I will have the information in my description box. Thank you so much for tagging along on this crafty share, and I will see you in my next video. This is Denise Abate-Smith treasures of a crafty mind and this is what my crafty mind came up with these gorgeous clear scraps chipboard embellishments don't forget to head over to the blog check out everyone's gorgeous inspiring projects and head over to the store where you can find them see you in the next video bye for now